Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be trying out the Unify Connect DisplayCast. Um, this device is somewhat of an odd device in the sense that Ubiquiti has recently silently changed this device to be something called the DisplayCast Lite. So in this video we're going to check that out as well as set up this DisplayCast. It's going to be the same for the DisplayCast and the DisplayCast Lite. So let's get started. Okay, so over here on the Unify store, if we go to integrations and then we go down to Unify digital signage, that is the product line that this device is from. Um, under here, you'll see we have the DisplayCast Lite as well as the Connect Display and the DisplayCast Pro. These are all devices that run on Ubiquiti's Unify Connect platform. All of these devices basically do the same thing, which is display something on a screen, um, whether it's an actual device that displays onto a screen or an actual screen. It's pretty much all the same thing and they're all within, like I said, the Unify Connect software. So the DisplayCast Lite is pretty much the drop-in replacement for this device. Um, and this was silently discontinued from what I know. Um, I never saw any announcements about it. And the only difference between this DisplayCast and the DisplayCast Lite is the DisplayCast Lite does not have an Ethernet. This device right here has a uh, Ethernet port for PoE power um, and that does not have that. Uh, this has the USB-C port, so does that one. Um, and it also has an HDMI port, which both of them have. So with that being said, um, this device is $179. I'm going to mostly talk about the DisplayCast Lite because they're so similar, um, but this is $179. It is a digital signage player designed for media playback on HDMI displays. So it, it really just at a basic level is just a device that you can use to display media onto a TV, monitor, etc. So with that being said, uh, what I'd like to do in this video is we're going to set this up. So I'm going to plug in an Ethernet cable to the device and I'm going to get it powered up as well um, with a USB-C cable right here. So you'll see I've got the cable in the ethernet port and i'm going to plug both of those in and we are going to um, set the device up inside of unify connect so to get into unify connect we're going to uh, go to the connect section of our control plane we'll click install um, if you don't have it already you'll have to install it onto your console uh, the consoles that support this uh, i believe you can do it um, on the any of the dream machines pretty much you can do any of the um, cloud gateways as well um, as well as a cloud key um, i'm pretty sure all of those should run it just fine um, it's a pretty lightweight application, doesn't take too many resources. Uh, what it does take though is storage. So depending on how much media that you're going to have, you may want to get a um, cloud key or even a dream machine that has more storage on it. That way you can actually store more media on the device. Now, um, I believe what the devices do is they will cache the media locally on them so they're not reliant on streaming it from the network. Um, if you go down to the technical specification, you'll see it's got 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Um, and Unify Connect, will allow you to kind of have the media on Unify Connect. That's all you have to upload it to. And the devices will automatically pull the media down um, to the device. That way um, it can kind of just facilitate the media locally on there. You don't have to have all kinds of network bandwidth. Pretty much it's just taking a lot of bandwidth when you actually update the media. Um, and that's really, it's, it's not that big a deal. It does it really quickly. We'll come back as soon as Unify Connect is installed. Okay, so now that Unify Connect is installed, we're going to select the setup option. And it's going to take us, hopefully, assuming it's installed and running, it's going to take us to the setup screen of Unify Connect. Okay, so it says, welcome to Unify Connect. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions and select next. You'll see we've got the display cast ready to adopt. So we're going to click to adopt and it's going to adopt our device. This works really similar to pretty much all the other Unify applications where they have the adopt process where you just add it to your controller basically. If we go down to settings, you'll get a recovery code, which you can use to kind of recover your devices um, if they're managed by another console. Protect application. Um, some devices, I believe, like the um, display cast, uh, or connect display, sorry. The connect display can actually show Unify uh, protect recordings and cameras on there. So if you enable that, you'll be able to live view your cameras. You can automate device updates, backups. You can back up Unify Connect. You can also do layer three remote adoption. Um, and recently they've added a Lutron feature where you can add Lutron systems into Unify Connect, which is kind of cool. I don't have any Lutron stuff, so I can't show anything related to that. So you'll see here the display cast that I have is updating to version 1.9.301. So I'm going to wait for this to update. Uh, one thing that we can talk about now though is the automations. So the automations are really cool. You can automate, you can add your devices here. So let's add our UC cast. You can automate them based on a schedule or manual automation only. If you do a schedule, you can even do it just like a one-time event. Uh, you could do date ranges, all kinds of stuff, really sweet. Um, and you go to mode, you can configure it to show certain content. So we can create content here, um, which I actually don't have any external storage, unfortunately. So 
Um, I will go fix that here in a second. But um, it's really cool. The automations are a great feature. You can essentially turn your displays on at the beginning of the day um, and turn them off at the end of the day. You can literally automate all of that. You'll see the power controls here. Those use HDMI CEC, I believe, to actually control your TV or display. Um, you can also change the orientation and flip the screen if you need to. You can change it from media to YouTube mode if you want, where you can actually play a YouTube URL, which is really, really cool. You can upload any JPEG, um, PNG, GIF, uh, BMP, or M MP4 video. Um, you do that all through the Unified Connect. Um, but like I said, it does require the external storage. So I'm going to go put a SSD in my UDM Pro. Um, I think this 240 gigabyte SSD will be sufficient. So I'm going to go plug that in and I'll be back as soon as I have that done. Media. Uh, we have a couple options for media. We have a playlist that we can create, which kind of just adds images or videos into one kind of constantly running kind of uh, playlist, I guess. Or we have individual media that we can upload, kind of like um, videos, pictures, YouTube videos, etc. Um, and then under layout, we can kind of combine them or we could do different overlays and that kind of thing. I'll show you that in a second. So first of all, media, you can upload a JPEG, PNG, GIF, BMP, MP4 video, um, MP3 audio, wave audio, or a M4A audio. Play all those through the player just fine through the media section. You can also create a playlist, which we are going to do now. Uh, you can turn on slides transition, which is going to fade between these slides. You can add some background music using the audio. Um, and you can kind of tell it what you want to present it on. Uh, and you can also upload your media here. So I'm going to upload a picture um, just for fun so we can try this out. So you'll see it added the media here. We're going to select add and we'll click create up in the top. So you'll see we not only have the JPEG image that I have uploaded, but we also have the playlist. So if we go inside of the playlist, you can add more slides, change their duration, um, and you can apply that to all the images if you want to kind of have a common duration of everything. And that is pretty much all you need to know about playlists. Uh, under layout, if we create a new layout in the top, you'll see kind of we have a just blank template here. You can change the color on the background. You select your um, resolution size um, and your preset for your aspect ratio. Um, but alongside that, you can add background music and you can add content layers. So this is where it gets really powerful here with inside, inside of Unify Connect. You can go, you can add a media. So let's just add that slide right there. Um, and we can go back out here and go back to this screen, we can add a ticker. So let's just say we want to add a ticker right here where we can kind of just have some text kind of scrolling across the screen. Maybe we want the text to say, welcome to the restaurant. We are glad you are here. Um, that's kind of an example. You can have the text scrolling across the screen, change the speed, um, all that kind of stuff. You can actually add space between them. Lots of stuff you can do there. Um, you can also change the font and all that kind of other stuff uh, related to the ticker. Under clock, you can actually embed a clock with a date on it. So let's just say we want this to be up in the corner so all of our guests walking in can just see the, the date and time. So we can say, please wait for the hostess or something. I don't even know. Um, make a message there on the screen that just tells people um, as they're walking into our restaurant, we want them to wait. Um, and maybe on here, instead, we could actually add our playlist um, and we can have our playlist um, show some different um, pictures of food that we have at our restaurant as well. So I'm going to actually delete the media that we added and put a playlist here. And we are going to um, also mute the playlist in case we actually have music playing on there. And let's click create. So um, now I'm going to go back into our playlist. Let's add some more slides here. And I want to see what we can do with our playlist. So um, I'm going to scroll down here, just find some random um, picture that I've got. As our guests walk into our restaurant, we've got a nice time. We've got a message that says, please wait for the hostess. And we're welcoming people and saying we're glad that they're here. Um, as well as some pictures of our food or whatever. I don't know. So that's really powerful. So there's a lot of stuff you can do with Unify Connect. You can make these cool dashboards like this, um, but you can also just use Unify DisplayCast to just display media. Um, they're really cheap devices, um, not the DisplayCast, not the Connect Display, but the DisplayCast is only 179 bucks. It can connect to your Ubiquiti Wi-Fi really easily, automatically. Um, it's called the Auto Link feature. Um, and pretty much just pop one of these behind a TV and you're pretty much good to go. Um, you can control them, update them, do everything you need to do from Unify Connect wherever you are in the world with their unify.ui.com screen. Um, and yeah, it's really, really a great tool. Uh, I highly recommend this. That is about it for this video, guys. If you have any questions about DisplayCasts or what they do, they also have a DisplayCast Pro. 
um, that supports web mode. You can embed web pages uh, and use a keyboard and mouse and stuff. So really, really cool stuff. If you want to see more, please let me know. Um, I just want to do a brief overview of the DisplayCast Lite and everything that it has to offer. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.